you, you take the lead on this one. Okay. Well, you know, it's really tough seeing one of our players, one of our key players go down in the middle of a game and then seeing a stretcher come out. That is really tough for the whole team to see, especially it being KJ because, you know, we're all united as one. We all care for one another a lot. But, you know, this is just a thing that we're just going to have to pray about for her, for our team, and just keep moving on to the next game and just mentally stay together and just be composed as possible. Well, I think the effort definitely comes from just loving my team. I know that they're going to also compete for me, and I am just, I'm just going to compete for them. That's just how it is. I have an awesome coaching staff, an awesome school, awesome community that just really, I know that has my back, and so it just it makes it easier to just give it all, give it my all out there. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna jump on that. Jack's the kind of player where it's like, you know, nine out of ten times. There's sometimes, you know, like a game slippage or whatever, Jack's gonna be there. Like, she's the most accountable person on the team. She, like, she's yet to not show up for a game for us. So, like, I'm really proud how she played today. It was incredible. Thank you, Maddie, do you practice taking charges? How are you able to just get in there and you can get the offensive foul? I think it's just right place, you know, right time. That really, I, I, don't, I don't practice that. I just honestly hope that they barrel through me. So then we could get that call because it's such an it's such an emotional change in the game. You know, it's frustrating. I've had charges taken on me, and it it is frustrating. So it's definitely something that, um, you know, it just it kind of just happens. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was telling coach, I said, I got to be back for this game. You know, like, whatever timeline we got to push. Like, I was pushing myself when I was here. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really big game. Like, not only just, like, a number on the stat sheet, you know, mm -hmm. a win, but this is an emotional win for us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I wanted to show out on my first game that, like, no team can step into the brick and beat us. And it's showed these past couple of years. Like, mm -hmm. we really defended home court well. And so that's kind of what I wanted to bring to the game today. I know you're still really young yourself, but uh, a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we've gone through so many trials and tribulations this season. Um, a lot of stuff has been thrown at us, and I'm just so proud of every person on the team. We've just been pivoting as a whole together, and it's been really great to be a part of and see how we're growing this group from you know one to fourteen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What changed after that their opening, you know, 195 run? What did you guys do to be able to? Um, you know, they were hitting a lot of threes on us, and that was something our game plan. We said we got to limit the threes because it's it showed in the um, games previous to us. They've been a great three point shooting team, and we'll give them credit. They were hitting a lot of shots, and they were yes. moving the ball well mm -hmm. at the beginning. So we said we got to be more disruptive, and we got to take away their primary actions and primary looks, and make them make them play us for the whole shot clock. Because you know, even though we don't have numbers per se with uh, all these, you know, injuries and. Like every person we're defending, and we defend five five of us, and I don't know, give it our all every time. Yeah. So that's what's special about our yeah. team is we don't have one person on our team that's going to give up. Yeah. Like we we hold each other accountable. If you're going to step up and compete for me, I'm going to step up and mm -hmm. compete for you because that's just how it has to be. You know, limited players as well. Like we don't have chances, and you know, I'm so proud of our freshmen as well mm -hmm. for really taking on a incredibly hard role. It's definitely not easy, and um, Ella stepping up in her mm -hmm. game, truly. Natalie doing an excellent job taking care of the ball and getting us organized. It's just, it's fun to see as well just how much they've grown from the summer to now. Yeah. What's going through your mind at uh, free throw line right after KJ's injury? I'm gonna, ma I'm gonna make these for her. Yeah, there, I, I didn't really feel any pressure. I, I truly wanted to make these free throws for that girl because and her mom even and her her dad it, it was heartbreaking to see them you know they both had tears and they were stressing because you know their daughter's down so um even as a team we were all you know it, it hurt really bad mm -hmm. to see her in that situation so um i also had the confidence because i have my team that backs me as well and they just they were like you know what jack you got this you got it and so it really was to kj yeah. was mm -hmm. that Uh, yes, it was between uh, yeah, it was between Taylor and I, and Ben wanted me to 
take the shot. And so I was like, all right, I'm a little cold, but I got this. <laughs> Man, Montana State is my family. There are so many good people in this community, so many good years of different teammates and different teams as well. Um, I just, I'm forever so grateful for the journey that I have been given. And my journey wasn't easy. I was, you know, going through illness and, and injuries. And I had a head coach and a coaching staff that always believed in me and pushed me to be the best that I possibly can. And, you know, Maybe some teams don't know who Maddie Jack is, but I'm here to stay for this season. So, yeah. After a game like this, given uh, kind of the, the ups and downs of the season, maybe most specifically with, with injuries, but to, to have a performance like this against that kind of team rival, what do you think your team has, has learned about itself, or what do you hope that you can prove to, to other teams that you got 13 more conference games to go? Mm -hmm. I think that it, it shows we're not about to roll over and die with any team, you know? Like, we're going to come and we're going to fight no matter who we're up against. And that's something that's been consistent for us. So yep, one ten percent We definitely aren't going to roll over and mm -hmm. die. I mean, yes, we're going to have some tough games, potentially some tough losses, but it's not going to matter. We're, we're going to show up every time. Yep. We're going to show up. We're, we're going to play to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. And 10 straight home wins over the Grizz. Um, just how mm -hmm. special is that and what makes this place? Uh, why do you think you guys many versions of this team have been able to beat the Grizz here. I've been part of two of them, and they're both an electric game. Like, the community here is amazing. They show so much support for us, and, you know, I just love being part of this environment. And even though I'm only two games deep in this series at home, like, I just feel like it's just only going to keep getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's – I've been a part of a lot of them, and it really is the electric – Ness of our crowd, like, man, we we do feed off of our crowd. We love having our community come out and support us and our women's basketball. It it really it means a lot to us, and we want to show that you know yes, we're gonna we're gonna come out and compete for you guys since you guys took time out of your day to come and support us. 